I think I feel reassured when I look at the number that there's a lot of people who place the same importance on the issues that I do. As full-time faculty, I guess I'm feeling pretty secure as the 20%. I worked part-time for a long time and I was fortunate enough to have the secure full-time position, but a lot of people don't and I don't think there's a lot of hope for most of those people and they're working just as hard as we are. <laughs> making lots of noise so hopefully we'll get some good attention and some pressure on the college's bargaining team to sit down and get serious and negotiate because we want to go back to work, we want students back in the classroom so hopefully all of this today will bring more attention to what's happening. The reason we're here is for fairness for our faculty, and it's fairness for contract no, was, faculty, for precarious was workers. Fault. We can't let that continue. It's happening all over in the new corporate world. We can't let this government turn the colleges into a corporation where we don't care about people. It's unacceptable, it's unconscionable, and all of us have to rally together to stand up to do what's right. There's contract faculty that I met on the picket line. One of them had been here for 18 years. And I thought to myself, you're here for 18 years. You're obviously good enough to come semester after semester, but they're not good enough to be hired full time. There's something really immoral about that. You can't have a sustainable workforce if all the positions are part-time and temporary. And you can't have a thriving economy if everybody's working part-time. Nobody's going to be buying houses, nobody's going to be buying cars, nobody's going to be doing home renovations, all that kind of stuff. Various employment's been around for a while and it's unfortunately just become so entrenched in our workforce and our labour market and I think it just needs to stop. We need to have more full-time positions otherwise young people today they're not going to have full-time positions either. Solidarity! So, so, so! Solidarity! I think today shows that the faculty are united and they are working very hard to make sure that they get fairness for the, all of the faculty. When do we want it? When do we want it? Now! Who's got the power? We've got the power! What kind of power? Union power! I really feel good about this because so many colleagues who are not equally paid for the work we all do together. So I feel that we are united, you know, that, like, wholeness. We all fit together and I hope that we will get something out of that. It's really good to have these rallies. We get sort of isolated in our areas where we pick it and uh, we forget that this is a large cause. So it's nice to come down here and see that there's a lot of people involved. And it's also nice to come down and take a little bit of action and try and sort of facilitate some discussion you know, with the council side. We want to try and push them to start talking. So if this doesn't have an, an impact, I won't be disappointed. I would like to see it have an impact, but I'm resolute in following whatever our negotiating team says. I'm going to do whatever they say. I am really stunned and amazed with our members this round. I mean, you have 12,000 people who are out here walking. It's not on wages and benefits. It's not about individual gain. It's for the collective good and the future of our system. And so our faculty stay strong. We're amazing and we'll win this. This is the first time you have 12,000 people at 20 more colleges walking together on the lines in favor of our contract faculty, in support of our students through academic freedom and collegial governance, and in support of a better system at 50-50. This is about making our colleges better places to work, but the best places you can learn in Ontario. Increasing the pressure on the government officials, increasing the pressure on the college presidents, those are the folks that can actually push council to begin negotiations in earnest. We're ready to negotiate with them, but they have to address these concerns around quality and fairness. What they tabled in July would have meant that when people retire, they would not be replaced. They might try and force an offer vote on you. And if they bring you that offer vote, and if that offer vote contains concessions that they've tabled already, what are you going to say? No! What are you going to say to that offer? No! It is up to them to come back to the table and begin negotiations.
solutions. The current council, they have no desire uh, to make a deal with us to increase any type of fairness in the number of full-time faculty we have and how we treat our contract faculty. And if we stay out here and get the message to the public and in particular to the government, they will force College Employer Council to get back to the table and do some real bargaining. So Minister Matthews, Premier uh, Wynn, you know, get, get on the phone. You fund those colleges in the main. You can exert some pressure on them. And that is simply to say to the college council, get your asses back to the table. Listen to the people that know how the colleges work, know what the students need. Our issues are resonating across Ontario because all of us have been touched in some way by precarious labor. And I want to say something here right now, that this is not just a strike. This is a social movement against precarious labor. It's a good job. Certainly we are finding that people are shocked to hear about the working conditions of college faculty because people assume that those are good jobs. To the casualization of labor and contract faculty, you are saying no and you are building the confidence of all of us to take this struggle forward. All of us or none of us. All of us or none of us. It is not the norm to have a partial load, part-time, precarious uh, work situation that does not allow you to pay your bills. Contract faculty have to actually apply for their job uh, every four months. We have had the most tremendous support from our students. Faculty working conditions are student learning conditions. They know it. They've been out uh, supporting us in droves. They've been coming to our picket lines. Uh, there's a petition with over 100,000 signatures on it to ask for their money back because we're not getting paid. They're not getting their classes. Sometimes you don't know until after the semester has already started if you're going to be teaching a course. This leaves you with very little prep time. Of course, we have to spend weeks every, every year when we're um, not getting paid. I myself have designed courses where uh, it ends up being part of a, a degree program. I'm not good enough, however, to get a full-time job. So again, I'm not going to take up too much time. I've been teaching part-time at George Brown College for over 12 years. I have applied for full-time job after full-time job, and somehow I'm not good enough either. So I can teach part-time, but I'm not good enough to join the team as a full-time member. 70 to 80 percent of part-time faculty is not okay. We need to move that number 50-50, equal work, equal pay for equal work. Thank you for listening. Fifty years ago, fifty years ago, this province created a college system to provide people like me and others the education to be able to make a decent life, to hopefully get a decent job, have the ability to raise a family. How on earth can that same system say the majority of teaching work is going to be done by part-time people with few rights, lousy wages, and rotten conditions? Get decent work back in our colleges. Solidarity is Take this back with us. We're going to take this energy back to the lines. I have a couple of actions that you have to do if you haven't done them already. One, go to our website, collegefaculty.org. Super easy to remember. Write that letter. We need, we already have 5,000, we need another 1,000, so make sure you do that. Call your MPP. Our government needs to know that they need to take action because it's our campus, uh, right? Yet. Whose campus is it? Our campus. Whose campus? Our campus. We got this. When I say Opsu, y'all say strong. Opsu. Opsu. When I say socialist, y'all say hip hop socialist. Hip hop socialist. socialist. Hip -hop. When I say Opsu, y'all say strong. Opsu. Opsu. When I say socialist, y'all say hip hop socialist. Hip -hop. Socialist.
to us. We the workers built this land. Blood, sweat, and tears. The ones who tore the soil, the ones who grind the gears. It is we who plow the prairies under the summer sun. Walk a life of work, but the journey's never done. But the cities where we live, connect the bricks to mortar. Strike the one is feeble, so shoulder touch shoulder. The burden gets shouldered. The certain we soldier, nine to five, side by side. Surviving on soldiers. Hands hold the power greater than the house of gold. We're